Here are the tools required for an installation. The drill is not needed for a GT installation. The painter's tape and black fingernail polish are optional, but later in this video you will see where they can be useful. Pliers, wire cutters, and flat blade screwdriver are needed. Before starting the installation, you will need to make sure that the lower grill is facing forward in the same manner as the upper grill. There is a subtle difference in appearance between the front and back of the diamond grill. If you have the upper grill in one way and lower grill in the opposite way, under certain lighting conditions the two will look different. Closely examine the tube, put a piece of tape on the front of the lower grill to identify which way to install it. If your diamond grill is one without the Mustang Pony emblem, just make sure both grills are facing the same way. Grills with the pony cutout can obviously only go one way. If you are doing an installation without the pony emblem, use the flat blade screwdriver to pry the stock emblem off the vehicle. The emblem uses a series of small posts on the back that press into plastic inserts in the stock grill. You will be prying these posts out of the inserts. This is not that easy, but stick with it, it can be done. For EcoBoost installations, look at the provided instruction sheet to locate where to drill two 3 8 holes on the passenger side of the grill. Smaller holes can be drilled, but insertion of the attachment wire is easier with larger holes. If you never plan to take your car through a commercial car wash, you can skip the hole drilling and move closer to the center of the grill and use existing holes in the grill for the attachment wire. There is concern that car wash brushes could catch the outer edge of the grill and pull it away unless the attachment wire is at the far edges of the grill. When drilling the holes, stop drilling the instant you break through the plastic grill to avoid hitting other vehicle components behind the grill. Drilling is only on the passenger side of the car. The driver's side has existing grill openings for the attachment wire. Bend an attachment wire as shown in the video. Holding the wire with pliers makes it easier to position the wire in the grill. Push the wire through the bottom hole and then pull it back, fishing the end of the wire through the top hole. Then grab the short end of the wire and pull it to have even lengths on both wires. Repeat this process on the driver's side of the grill. See instructions on which existing holes to use for the wire. With the help of an assistant, position the grill in front of the stock grill and feed the wires through the diamond grill. Do one side at a time. You want the wires through the diamond grill in approximately the same place they come out of the factory grill. Note in the printed instructions that the wires should come through the diamond grill over a single strand of the diamond grill, not over the area marked with red X's. This makes the wire less visible. Holding the diamond grill against the stock grill, twist the wires together by hand, then repeat the process on the other end of the grill. Once the wires are twisted tight by hand, clamp the pliers on the twisted area and twist the diamond grill tightly against the stock grill with another turn or two. Using the wire cutters, cut off the ends of the wires. Paint the twisted portion with the black fingernail polish. If you're installing a black grill, you may want to paint the wire portion that crosses over the actual diamond grill. This is not necessary on a stainless grill because the stainless wire is basically invisible against a stainless grill. To do the lower grill, place a piece of tape aligned with the center vertical bar of the stock grill. Measure the lower diamond grill and place a piece of tape at the center as shown. The reason for this is there is no way to center the lower grill in the factory opening accurately without the tape. Now use the same wire process on the lower grill as you did on the upper grill. Try to get the wires at the extreme ends of the grill. Again, twist the wires tight by hand, then tighter with the pliers. Cut off the ends of the wires, paint the twisted portion. The final step is to take the flat blade screwdriver and push the painted twisted wire ends back into the grill out of sight. A GT installation is basically the same. The upper center grill and lower grill install exactly the same as the EcoBoost grill. The two small upper grills install with one wire each looped through the existing holes in the factory grill. To remove the diamond grill, in the event you want to sell or trade your car in and its original condition is very simple. Just take the wire cutters and cut the retaining wires and remove both grills. If you have an EcoBoost, the two holes you drilled will never be noticed by anyone. Thank you.